Hold on. Can you see me? Um, yes, I can see you now. Well, that's a relief. Now that you're awake, we can begin the intubation. The... the, the what? The pick line. We're gonna give you lots of fluids and nutrients to help you feel better. Hold on. For one thing, where's Fetris? He okay? Dad, I'm sitting right here in my underwear. Good. Right? I'm right beside you, Dad. Thank goodness my boys are okay. That's all I needed to know. All right. Now we're all ready for... Get that damn needle away from me. But I don't even have a needle. You haven't signed the paperwork. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> you... You don't even have a need. What in frick's sake is that? It's just the alcohol and gauze. There's, there's got to be another way to, to, to do this right. Well, we don't have to intubate you if you really don't want us to, sir. You're an adult and you can refuse medical treatment. Do you need a bag? Yes, please. Here. <laughs> Can I be put to sleep first? Maybe if you advanced, maybe use gas first? Well, we don't have gas, but we do have a Cheevan. It'll work much quicker in serum form. But, but serum means- Hang on, Bertha. I've got experience with severe trypanophobia. Oh, Zara. Thank goodness. Don't you worry, sir. Zara's really good. Looks like Bertha was ready to give you the saline. Yeah, I guess so. Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha ha. <laughs> well, gosh, guess you have a fear of needles. I'm deadly terrified, but I don't want to be a wimp. I can promise I have five billion reasons why I don't want this fear. Well, I can promise you I can help you overcome this fear. Please, anything. It says here you're autistic. And you need it quiet so that you don't get overloaded from the pain and sensory input combined. It's... it's pain. But then there's also terror. It's my body doing its own thing. I jerk violently. I even regurgitate. I have crap my bridges before. It's just... <laughs> Doctor, if you know why they end this hell, then please help me! I want to get top surgery and phalloplasty. I don't even know my own blood type, but I wish I was a blood donor. I'm already an organ donor, and if I were to go on hormones, then they'd stick me like a pincushion. Heck, I might even have to self-inject. I know full freaking well I can't do that. Wow. That sure is a whole lot to consider. I know you're terrified, sir, but can I just get a quick lab? Good luck. Do you have any preference for which arm? Right? Okay then. Here, just try to calm your breathing down. Do you feel like you can fill out the paperwork? Ha, huh, that's the easy part. Here's the paperwork. All you have to sign is this line right here. If you feel like it. All it is, is just a consent form stating that you consent to me collecting the sample in our lab department, analyzing it and adding the results to our medical database. That includes all of your medical records. You still retain the right to withdraw consent during any point in the procedure. Dang dad, you've really got it bad, don't you? Yes. Yes, Victor. Okay, now raise you arm just a little. Make a fist. Good. Just remember to breathe in slowly through your nose, all the way, like you're smelling a really sweet flower. Is it in now? Sorry. It's not in yet. In slowly, through your nose, like you're smelling a really sweet flower. Out through the mouth gently, like you're blowing on hot soup. In like a flower, out like hot soup. <sighs> you're doing just fine, sir. Ow, sorry. It's just the bandage. I'm all finished.
I'm gonna run these to the lab real quick. I'll be back to check on you by lunch. Are you sure, Dr. Shun? You said that I'd be ready for release by then. Well, we can hold you here until another relative or a caregiver shows up. But our lunches are pretty good. Here, one for Ray's, one for Victor. And Adam, you're a vegan, right? Why, yes. Here's the vegan menu. Just circle the foods that you want. Now, let's see. They just moved the lab down the hall a ways. Oh, hey, Grandma Shun. It's right down that hall, on the right, second door past the bathroom. Thanks, Paula. I have no idea what I'd do without you. Do you think you could sit with this patient and his two teenage boys? I gave them each a lunch menu. Maybe you could give them a few suggestions. I know you know your way around the lunch menu. Sure thing, Grandma Shun. Whoa, Paula. There you go again, walking all fast like Grandma. I'll be back in a few minutes to check on you guys. Promise me you won't gobble up all of the patients, okay, Chompasaurus Rex? I won't. Oh, there goes my darn stomach again. Really? The hospital. Hey, y'all. Sorry, things are kinda slow. Wanna hear some music? Wow, 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 Paula. Sorry. Here. It's a set of scrubs. It's honestly the best we've got. Go ahead and put them on, Victor. Thanks, Paula. Okay, now I have the scrubs on. Thanks, Paula. They are so warm. No prob. Just so long as we all keep our shirts on, and hopefully our pants too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paula, you are so funny. Well, someone had to teach Arlene her jokes. Please don't let Arlene ever hear that I said that. My lips are sealed. Wow! You have a ukulele? Yep. I know a neat little song. Oh, and here you go, sir. You know how to play a harmonica? Well, it's still brand new in the package. Every patient gets one. I used to play my Mormor's harmonica when I was little. Tell me if you recognize this song. Hey, this song is kind of catchy. Do you recognize it? Not really. Most of the music I listen to is garbage. Oh wait, I know this song. I'm surprised you know it, Paula. It's a Spanish song. Well, the version I know is Chinese. I guess he knows it though. He knows all of the harmonica notes perfectly. Actually, my mom used to sing the English version. Oh, Rocky. Rocky on the river. He made a wish on a shooting star. Oh, Haley. I wonder where you are. Oh, wait, darn it. That's not how it goes. Actually, that sounds pretty good. But wasn't it Bobby on the river? Bobby. Bobby on the river. I always thought her name was Katarina. Katarina? Yeah. Katarina. Katarina and Elio. But wasn't that your first girlfriend's name? Shut up, Rage. We don't talk about my first girlfriend. Ooh, my bad, bro. 